everyone, I'm Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco Developer Relations, and I'm here with Cole Callahan. Cole, can you tell everyone what you do? Yeah, absolutely. My name is Cole Callahan. I'm the WebEx community and content manager on the WebEx side of things here at Cisco. And we're talking to Cole today because WebEx has a new developer community or a burgeoning developer yes, community? Yes, so the developer, the overall WebEx community has been alive for about two years now, and mm -hmm. recently we partnered with the developer evangelist team over at WebEx to create the developer community, which has been around for about three months months now, but okay. it's already been taking the world by storm. Uh, it's now 20% of all conversations in the community are happening from the developer side of things. So oh, it's really fantastic. hit the ground running and is, is hot, hot, hot. So it's a, a, a portion of the WebEx community is the, yes. the, 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 the Absolutely. developer Absolutely. Yep. Before um, working with that team, we, had, we supported the IT admins, we supported the end users, the adoption champions, but one team we haven't supported just yet is our developers. So that is one persona we really wanted to focus on, and we wanted to work with the right team and made sure that we had the support for it to actually make it work, right? So now, it, as I said, it's taken the world by storm from uh, the beginning. What kinds of conversations are you seeing coming across for developers in that space? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, the culture is a little bit different from the entire WebEx community. Uh, most people are very formal in their responses uh, in other parts of the community. They have a lot of fun, sure, but once you move over to the developer side of things, you start seeing GIFs in there. But <laughs> you start seeing people, you know, sharing entire, you know, pieces of code in yeah. there. So people are using it in all kinds of different ways. And we think that's cool because the community today is very much so English supported, but yeah. the developer piece of it's interesting because there's not necessarily a, a specific language that if you speak any language, you can be a part of this community. Yeah, and it makes fantastic. it a lot easier using that code. Yeah, that's fun. Um, so they're sharing code in the spaces, sure. um, solutions I'm guessing they're, yeah. they're noodling and, and collaborating on. Absolutely. The, the developer support team that we work with um, in the community, they answer the questions faster than any part of the community. They have zero, <laughs> zero unanswered questions in the community. It's really been a phenomenon in the world of community as a whole. And we don't just stop at conversations. The community is a place not just for asking questions and sharing knowledge, sure that's the basis of it, but you can come in there, you can share product ideas that go straight to our product team. You can attend webinars, which we have a developer series of webinars. Oh, fun. Yeah, absolutely, and we have um, all kinds of th contests that people can engage in. We have hackathons, we just hosted a hackathon um, where people submitted um, items for the WebEx App Hub, and okay. we had 18 different teams um, submit, and we had three finalists and even had a community favorite. So oh, it was really fantastic. cool to see that. So tell me, what was the winner for you guys, and then what was the community favorite? Yes, yeah, so the number one was Cloud Fabric. So they put together a really awesome solution. Um, I can't explain it too much on here. It's pretty technical, but, okay. they, but on the community, they do have a video walking through what their solution is. A big part of why we wanted it in the community was, one, we wanted it to start a conversation, yeah. for sure. But we also wanted them to film a video where they could show the community, they could show their solution in action. And then the community could come vote, even internal employees could come vote and be like, wow, this one's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And the one that was uh, the community favorite was called Turtle Type. Okay. So their solution was based on um, the idea that people tend to type a little bit slow and sometimes you know, there's distractions that come up and mm -hmm. hinder how fast you can type. So it was a tool that they built within WebEx that really helped you test your efficiency and okay. gave you tips on how to type faster and really showed your averages and how you can do better. So it was a really, really interesting. I, I was personally, I voted for that one. I, okay. thought it was a, I thought it was a really fun one and how they presented it was really comical as well. Yeah, so. and WebEx is such a dynamic platform that sure. you know you can do all those kinds of things and it's always fun to see the ideas that people can come up with. You know, you and I work in the space for uh, you know all the time yeah. and so we see the business end aspect of things and so it's really nice to see when people can have fun with it, right? Absolutely. Um, so as far as the community is concerned, you know, I've worked for DevNet for a very long time and you know we build up a community of, of developers that cover you know network engineering some some we're in WebEx sure. uh, we're also you know trying to reach out to the enterprise developers with a lot of our new new product releases um, what is the can you kind of talk about a little bit about the passion that you're seeing from the community today even three months in it is incredible I will the the coolest story that I have of anything I've ever done with community is we have our community members, and there's one guy in our community. He has 10% of all solutions are coming from one guy, right? Yeah. Not from anybody internally. This is a guy that is out there in the world over in Germany, okay. right? And so even before that, we had a same type of person that was answering these questions. And uh, what's really cool about the first one was that I asked him, I said, hey, what company do you work for? He's like, he tells me what company he works for. Okay. And then I say, yeah. And then I say, <laughs> 
are you a customer of WebEx? And because I was like, I couldn't find his account, right? Yeah, yeah. And he was like, no, I'm not a customer of WebEx. And I said, why, why are you here in the community with over you know, 2,000 contributions in wow. the community? And he just says, I just love WebEx. It might not be something that I purchased through my company. We don't use it. Yeah. But I just love helping people. So we've seen that. I mean, I get chills thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm so close to this one person. And, you know, aside from everything that's going on in their life, they still want to help people in an area that they're passionate about. And that's what we see in the developer part of it, too, is just people coming from all over the world, helping each other out. And it's not just asking questions and sharing knowledge. It's sharing best practices. It's sharing ideas. It's sharing just general thoughts on it. And it's been a lot of fun to see uh, the developer piece of it grow. Yeah, that's really fun. I can attest, you know, you do end up with a small group of people that end up being your, we'll call them champions. Yeah, um, But absolutely. those ones are the most fun to be around. They, they provide the most in interesting insight and stories. Sure. Um, but, and they, they also help that community as well. So that's fun that you guys already have in that short amount of time, someone who's really so dedicated right. to, to helping you guys out. Yeah, it's been a fascinating phenomenon, yeah. if you will, um, because I like to think of our community members as, you know, not just community members, but their friends, you know, yeah. that could be generically said, but this is the first time I'm meeting them here is at Cisco Live. Oh, We've had drinks came. together. We've go, we're have we going to the show tonight together. We've yeah. gotten pictures together and it, it's much more of a personal connection than people think, right? And yeah. the WebEx community its own launched right when the pandemic hit, more mm -hmm. so as a tool. So the 250% growth in customer base could help each other I wonder out, why that right? happened. <laughs> right, right. So my job when I first was hired, it wasn't to necessarily do that, but yeah. we needed to launch a community to support the growing customer base. And we've seen it grow from just deflection to really customer and advocacy. So we've really focused on making relationships with these people rather than just, hey, we solved this solution. It's yeah. not just a queue, right? Yeah. It's not just a queue. It's making these personal relationships and being with them along their WebEx journey and, and seeing what areas we can you know, show them or enlighten them with that can make their experience better. And that's where the developers have been huge. I know some people in our community, they've never built a bot before in their life. They don't know anything about APIs, but they show up to the sessions, they try to make it happen, and they ask me all kinds of questions. I'm not necessarily a tech guy, but they have resources now. They have people, they have sponsorship that'll help them bring solutions and make their WebEx experience better, right? Yeah, that's that's fun. I do always find it fun. I mean, we have a couple of WebEx workshops sure. here in the DevNet zone, and um, I always find it fun to when people can get a bot to work and respond yeah, to yeah. some, some yep. prompts and all that fun stuff. I've actually used WebEx to actually run some of our, not at this event, but at previous events, I've used the bots to run some of our activations and you know oh, have wow. people get prizes yeah. by doing things with the bot. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's always fun. Uh, community building in and of itself is a challenge. Um, was it just the the primer of the you know hybrid work scenario and people having to to be online for their work environment that kind of pushed that 250 percent growth or was there a little bit more of a um, where this was there a grassroots effort that you guys put forward to kind of potentially help make the, that community grow yeah so the community before I so I started my job right when the pandemic started but there was also zero WebEx community when I joined oh, okay so I launched it within my first 30 days more so like I said as a deflectionary piece but it's obviously grown to be something much much more it's this content library where customers are helping each other and it's this user generated area can you tell me about any programs you might be helping to either help the community members that are already in existence or potentially grow the community? Yeah, that's a great question. So we have the WebEx community ecosystem. So the WebEx community, we have over 100,000 people checking it out every single month, just the wow. WebEx community. <laughs> and we have our Level Up opportunity, which is our WebEx ambassador program. So today there's two different learning paths within the WebEx ambassador mm -hmm. program. That's the IT admin path okay. and the adoption path. Okay. But good news is we are working with the developer evangelist team to create a developer path that will be released very, very soon. Okay. And it's awesome that we can support that line of work, that persona, so that we can give them more knowledge. Because at the end of the day, we're giving them this free certification, this opportunity to earn this free certification, right. and hope that you know this free information we give them will trickle down to our larger community. So it's an opportunity to level up your knowledge, your network, your voice, and we want that to help build our customer base organically, yeah. right? Or not our customer base, our community base organically, right? So it so it will be an actual certification program. It'll be a verification program. Oh, it's ver not official certification, but it is okay. verification because it is free of charge. Yes. Um, each path is about six hours long at the moment. Okay. Um, there's your power user, which is just a generic 
I understand all of WebEx products, and then you really get into the specified piece of it. So there's the associate level, and then there's the professional level. Okay, so gotcha. It is gotcha. a level up process. Um, it's really as far as you want to go with it. But these are things that you can add directly onto your LinkedIn. Um, you can add them onto your community pro profile. So anytime you post something, they'll know, wow, this is a WebEx ambassador that's answering my question. Yeah, that's really cool. Having been part of the certification program historically, sure. um, I understand that um, you know in those instances where learning is laid out there and you have people that you promote up through those uh, scenarios right. that that passion for those people begets passion within the community. And so uh, you guys are setting up a wonderful opportunity for these developers to really challenge themselves yeah. and show what they're they're made of. And so that's really exciting for that. So unfortunately, <laughs> that's all the time we have. It yeah, was sure. fantastic talking to you, Cole. Sure. And I'm really excited to check out the uh, WebEx developer community. Yeah, it's been great being here. I appreciate the time. Thanks, Thanks so much. Man.